We've been talking about the gospel here on Truth and Technique, that God created the world. People sinned and turned aside from him, but God redeems us, right? He sends Jesus, dies for us. We trust him. He makes us right with him. And then he begins to change our lives. But we need to also realize that those three periods, creation, fall, redemption, aren't the end of the story because there's a great party after that comeback victory. But perspective is everything. How do we think about our wins and losses in wrestling and our wins and losses in life? These things will either take us off a path or move us forward in a process to get better. Our perspective, how we see things, how we see our present circumstances needs to be shaped by our future. One of the things the Bible calls us to is to live in light of eternity. We are living everything now in light of the hope that we have in the future. Part of the good news is perspective is that God is bringing about a new reality, a new kingdom, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, and that is our destiny. One of the early Christian leaders, a man named Paul, wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, Therefore, we do not give up. Even though our outer person is being destroyed, our inner person is being renewed day by day. I'm getting older, my outer person wasting away, but my inner life renewed day by day. For our momentary light afflictions is producing in us an absolutely incomparable eternal weight of glory. So we do not focus on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen, the present life now is temporary but what is unseen is eternal. This passage encourages us in three directions. First, even when our present circumstances are difficult, we should never give up. We should see every trial, struggle, difficulty today in comparison to what is coming in the future. The follower of Jesus, we're having our life renewed day by day. The hope we have in the kingdom of heaven is so strong and so weighty, it makes every difficult now, even the most horrendous difficulties we can go through in life, makes those seem light and momentary in comparison with the glory and beauty of what's coming. This present world, guys, let's be honest, it's filled with difficulty disease, even our own coming mortality, we're all gonna die. But the Bible says these things that we see are temporary. They are transient, just passing through, and ultimately will pass away. So we don't focus on those things. We focus on what is coming, the eternal realities of the kingdom of God. Human history will end and God will bring about his justice, right? His good judgment, the resurrection of all people, a new world and a new reality that is mind-blowing and awesome. You wanna hear about it? This is in the last book of the Bible. And now there's lots of interesting things in this book, the book of Revelation, but this passage here is beautiful. This is in Revelation 21, one through four. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and earth were passing away and the sea was no more. And I saw a holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice from the throne. Look, God is dwelling with humanity and he will live with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. And listen to this. He will wipe away every tear. Death will be no more. Grief, crying, pain will be no more because all these previous things have passed away. In life, you and I, we're gonna face wins and losses. On the wrestling mat, you face wins and losses. That's why wrestling teaches us so much about life and life with Christ. Trials, setback, joy, pain. But if we keep our eyes on Jesus and his promises, we'll have a proper and renewed perspective. What we face today will ultimately be gone tomorrow. And the beauty and light of the kingdom of heaven will capture all things. Let me give you this thought as we close this section on the gospel. Did you realize for the follower of Jesus, for the Christian, right? No matter what today is like, could be your worst day, could be your best day. The best is always yet to come.